Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. In today's episode we're going to cover another central control topic and that central control topic is going to be connect. And there's a couple different ways you can use connect. You can use connect internal and you can also use a central control connect NDI module. And we're going to go over both of those today. Before we get started, if you didn't see, we posted earlier in the week that we're giving away a, a Studio Max license key. Uh, Joe and the fine folks at Central Control have donated a uh, Central Control Studio Max license key for us to give away. And we're going to do that live on February the 29th, and it's going to be at 6 p.m. Eastern. If you uh, are interested in getting in the giveaway, just go to our website. It's onemanstream.com, and we have a tab there that says uh, Central Control Studio Max Giveaway. Just click on that, and it'll give you all the information you need uh, to get enrolled for that giveaway. But today's topic is going to be Central Control Connect. This is what the Central Control interface looks like uh, when you first open it up. And as you can see over here, we've got three modules that we've already added in. We have the Connect NDI, we have the Connect Internal, and then I have something for Word Teleprompter. And that's the second part of this tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can use uh, these central control modules in a studio situation. And the cool thing about it is, yes, I'm using vMix to record uh, this tutorial, but in this module here, as you'll see, I don't have vMix, I don't have any other type of software, I don't have OBS, I don't have anything else going on in the background. I just have central control running and I brought in these three modules here that are uh, dealing with central control. To start off with, if you were opening this up as a new project, you wouldn't have these three items right here. You would just have this plus device. So in order to get started, I clicked on this plus device and I scrolled down here to where it said production tools. And under production tools, you'll see a whole bunch of things here. But the ones we're going to look at today is this one right here that says Central Control Connect NDI and Central Control Connect Internal Source. We're also going to be using this one right here, this one that says Central Control Word Teleprompter. So all you would do is you would click on the module that you want and then you click OK. And when you do that, it's going to bring it in. Well, as you can see right here, we have these three modules already added to our layout. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn them all off. So let's go to this one right here first, the one that says Connect NDI Test. I'm going to click over here to the left of it. And then over here on this right hand side, there's going to be device options. So under NDI Source, I selected our bird dog. Uh, P200 camera that we have going in the studio and uh, that's what's giving us this view right here and uh, this is the view from the uh, P200 and I didn't mess with any of these other settings on here I just left it the way that it was at uh, 3840 by 2160 I left the frame rate at 60 the quality at ultra and the encoding devices CPU if you click on connect here it's going to give you this IP address and this IP address for this particular instance is 192.168.1.102. And I'll show you what that is for. Um, and, and it also pops up this QR code. And this QR code we're going to use just a little bit later when we are uh, using the teleprompter. So I'm going to click the plus on my Chrome menu bar right here. And then up here in the title bar, I'm going to type in 192.168.1.102. And that was the um, um, address it gave us in the uh, Connect module. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see when it comes in, it gives you this little dashboard here. Over here to the right, there is something that says Source. And I'm going to click the drop down menu. And I'm going to click on Connect NDI Test. And when I do, it brings in that P200 camera that we've been uh, using uh, throughout this tutorial. So that's pretty cool. Well, how could you use this in a studio setting? Well, one way that you could use this and the way that I've used it before is as a confidence monitor. And like I said, I have nothing else going in central control. I just have central control up. I have those three modules in there and it's outputting with very limited resources. So let's go back to this and I'm going to, this is the connect internal. So I'm going to click on here 
and you can see that um, the device options comes up uh, you can see again the resolution the frame rate I didn't change anything else but I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn it on so now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here under uh, word teleprompter and we're going to turn that on and when I turn it on it brings in this interface right here and you can see on the interface there's different controls here now when you're using this interface right here for the teleprompter there's one more thing that you have to do so let's go ahead and I'll bring that in and under controls we want it connected to the internal source So we're going to go ahead and back out of that but if i click on connect you can see right here where it gives me this ip address and then it gives me this qr code well what i'm going to do is i'm going to with my ipad i'm going to take a picture of this qr code and you'll see in just a minute the reason why and with that qr code it pulled up this browser on my ipad and if you look over here to the right uh, where you see source if I click the drop down list and I click internal source you can see that it's bringing in the text from the teleprompter if you click to the left of the teleprompter button here you can see um, and you have to do this before you activate it you have to set the path before you activate it it has to be in a word format so you have to use Microsoft Word uh, to save your text so what I did is I just clicked the browse button, I pointed the browser to where I had that particular uh, folder, and then I clicked OK, and then it brings in this little interface right here. And there are a couple controls on there, not a whole lot, but if I double click on the stop button, it takes it back to the beginning of the text, and if I click play, you can see where the text starts playing and then I click the stop button double click it and it starts back at the beginning you can change the speed you can change the size of the text you can change the brightness of the screen and uh, you can't see it but whatever settings you choose here those settings are duplicated on your iPad now you probably noticed in the iPad that the text is backwards and the reason that the text is backwards is so that when you put it on your teleprompter it will look the way that it's supposed to so how do you get the text to display backwards on the iPad well you have to go to the word teleprompter and click over here to the right and then you'll see where these device options come in here down here towards the bottom you'll see one that says output horizontal flip uh, output vertical flip and if you click this one right here output horizontal flip what it does is it flips the text backwards so when you're using a, on your teleprompter and you're looking at it through the refle reflective glass uh, you'll be able to read it correctly so in a studio setting this is more of the way that I would be using it hello everyone and welcome to another episode of one man stream in today's episode we will continue our central control journey and we, we will discuss the topic of central control connect and you can see if I need to restart it I just double click here and then click the play button now I've adjusted the dim um, probably to about uh, a little bit more than probably around 60% and now you can see where the uh, lettering in the teleprompter is a little bit darker but as it comes up to the arrow here it gets lighter and I'll also show you just for completeness sake that if you click the uh, down arrow right here and click on the connect NDI it'll also bring in the uh, NDI source from the P200 camera which is the camera that's just right behind us and I click the uh, menu again and I click internal source and it's going to take me back to our teleprompter and the reason why this works is we had to put this command in here and this command was internal source send frame uh, that's the command that you have to have in order to output uh, that information that you're getting uh, from the internal source to the teleprompter make sure that you do come and add this command right here that says connect internal source send frame uh, that's going to conclude our tutorial today this was episode 85 and it was entitled central control connect in a studio setting 
and we showed you how to use uh, Connect NDI and Connect Internal uh, along with the Word teleprompter module uh, in Central Control uh, in order to use these in a studio setting. And we use one as a confidence monitor and then we use the other one as a teleprompter. Make sure you do stop by our website, onemanstream.com and sign up for the Studio Max license key giveaway. Again, we're gonna have a live show on February the 29th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we will draw a winner. Uh, that's gonna conclude our tutorial for today. Uh, if you do have an opportunity, please uh, stop by our website onemanstream.com that's where we have a listing of all the tutorials and that's also where you can sign up for the free license giveaway we also have some of the graphics we've created during this tutorial series uh, along with some of the utc controllers uh, that we've we have created as well if you like what we're doing here at one man stream please give us a thumbs up and a like make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted and as always thank you so much